fucking... What was that? Stopping the ball, that's what that was. Ref, come on. Oh, come on! Just let me go through the back of them. Hello, welcome to Hotel S11. It's the two Toms on FIFA preview duty. It's going to be a uh, good old Yorkshire derby. Hull taking on Leeds. It's at the KCOM and uh, Tom Cardiff is alongside me, Tom Maguire. Hello there. How are you doing, Tom? Hello. Good. It's been a while since uh, we've done this, since yeah, I've seen been, you. How, been... How's things? Uh, yeah, I Fair exist. Enough. It's, it's okay. Enough. You? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, we've not had a FIFA preview in a while, so I'm looking forward to this one. We've oh. been away. Yeah, I've, I've, I've not got any better at FIFA, but with FIFA, but we'll see. I'm not even <laughs> two weeks of pure practice <laughs> <laughs> on NBA uh, 2K18. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, uh, ideally, I think you'd prefer to be Hull. Uh, having set up the teams, Hull are very pacey, and I I have no shame on FIFA. I will long ball it over the top, Phil be Parkinson the sweatiest the FIFA, yeah. player going. So yes. All right, well, let's coin flip. Tails, as usual. Ted's. I will be Hull, then. Oh, you've played it the blinder here and got me to be the lesser team. No, nah, genuinely all right. Look at that. Diamande, Dicko and Campbell. Long ball, that. I don't see Campbell as, as a, having much pace. Right, get on the teams. Go to Campbell. Look at... Right. Mm-hmm. 78, right. But it's pacey enough. And then look at Diamande. Right, yeah. look at Dicko. Uh, Yeah. Right. right, we'll see. We'll see. see. It's so, you know, it might not do. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the Debock, obviously, coming in. Debock. We've got Adam Forshaw to talk about. Yeah. We've got, uh, well, the Millwall. Huge game Ooh. to talk about. Ooh. But all sorts to talk about. Oh, I did not save that. Um, yes, all lots sorts to talk, talk about. about. Lots. It's a Tuesday game, uh-huh. not ideal, but then again, they're out of the FA Cup. So it's Leeds' it's, fault, really. Leeds have been on the jollies. Um, so do we think that maybe they might be able to get something from this? Yeah, they've been, obviously, Hull played at the weekend, good win, I know they had a bit of a changed squad. Um, Leeds have been away at tr- training camp in Spain, uh, obviously double sessions, Christensen said it allows them to work on various things because they don't have to worry about the temperature or the conditions or the weather conditions so a good week away uh, interesting to see how it goes on it obviously gives Debock uh, and Forshaw proper time to bed in with the squad um, and yeah it should be interesting to see uh, how they react after that Millwall just crazy Millwall it, it almost summarises the season as a whole so far doesn't oh, it's it just crazy. oh and there's a little badge we need to talk about but we'll talk about that oh yeah bit. that happened as well <laughs> we'll talk about that we'll come on to that but uh, yeah not a uh, not a good uh, good result against Millwall, but a summary of almost leads this season, coming back into it, fighting back into it, and then falling at the last hurdle. But then yeah. again, you know, like I think Lasaga comes off, and so does came our roof. People are critical of those substitutions. The fact is, they were absolutely yeah. beyond knackered. Weren't if they, they if they if they phys- you know Christensen can't do much if the play- yes ah. Oh! Um, Christensen can't do if if, his, if Roof and Lasogra come in saying I'm knackered, please take me off. Then what can we do? You know, he just has to take them off. Um, but regardless, you know, a crazy game that 15 minutes. But it shows it was the highs and lows of Leeds. Yeah. That fifth that that game, they were at their worst in the first half. In the 15 minutes, they were just fantastic, absolutely phenomenal. Had Millwall on the ropes. Um, just the two goals at the end hit them really uh, but yeah bizarre game they go to Hull of course looking to bounce back um, suspensions galore <laughs> uh, got a very thin squad to choose from in terms of the first team if only they had you know a hundred under 20 freeze there to call upon um, then it might be different but yeah I'll have to have to wait and see how this one plays out but Leeds you feel will come into this one needing the result more I know Hull are down there but they'll feel that they, they have to win because they've only drawn once this month everything else has been losses it's not good enough for a team who want to be in the top six no oh yeah well coming back into it obviously you're thinking oh good lads because another it's a discipline problem maybe I mean I, the referee might have been influenced by the Millwall bench as we suggest but that you can't deny three red cards in three games suggests 
a problem. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So coming back from ten, uh, you know, two nil down, ten men for the majority of the game. Fair play, but giving it everything, you're bound to open up some gaps, and you're thinking maybe, maybe you'll be able to hold on, but. At three three. I'm thinking they're going to have to hold up, but they couldn't, and it was four three. Yeah, but they shouldn't really have been in the position where they should have had to come back. I know we should. Give they shouldn't us... have been in the position in the first place to be ten minutes. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You know, they were awful to start with. They could have. It's, Millwall could have been at one nil up in ten seconds, fifteen seconds, um, and they allowed themselves to be in that position. So you know, not forget that. But at the same time, they've got to have credit for the way they responded. It's not their fault, really. They found themselves with 10 men in terms of the other players. They changed formation oh. um, and they coped with it. They changed Adam Forshaw's number. Um, and they coped with it. It's a fair play to them. Interesting comments from Christiansen yesterday. We're recording this on the day of the game because obviously the transfer window and the such. For Wednesday. We to up to date. So uh, we'll film this on Tuesday. So the transfer said, window shuts Wednesday. Yes. Um, Christiansen said, I'm going to hit this said yesterday uh, interesting comments on the 3-5-2 formation or 3 4 two or whatever and whether he'd be tempted to adapt to it he didn't say yes or no but he kind of avoided it by saying open, well, open to it maybe then well it's good that the players can adapt and all that so it wouldn't surprise me if you see it more because Leeds were phenomenal in that formation for that first 15 minutes it kind of allowed the attacking midfielder players to get into it more it allowed obviously La Soga and Roof more chances Interesting to see what he does with it. Um, but I don't know if he has... Obviously, he played Berardi at centre-back. Oh, no. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Um, bit interesting to see whether he'll be forced into it with changes and suspensions and, and the such. Yeah, that's the thing for me. So, what, three, th- is it three or four big four. missing... Uh, Saez, yeah, O'Kane, th- Cooper, Phillips. Yeah. that And so, th- some of those can be avoided. Phillips could have. I know it was a yellow card, but he shouldn't have got the yellow card on against Millwall. Exactly. Because he, why are you kicking the ball away? Why are you throwing the ball away? You know you're going to get carded. You're not going to get away with it. The fact is that, that given the league position that Leeds are in, um, and I know you can read a lot into the table now and you can maybe make too much of a big deal. The fact is that the aim is top six. Andrea Radrizzardi has come out and said that. Thomas Christensen is, no under, is under no illusion that that is the target, that is the aim. And when you're in seventh, just two or three uh, points shy of the playoffs, that's fine. But you're tenth now currently. But maybe, what, is it four points off? Uh, yeah. So, Essentially, it all depends, obviously. There's other games tonight as well and yeah. all that. What happens tonight? They could be in a very bad position by the end of the night. But exactly. then they could be in a lot better position. So it's all very much ifs in the balance. I know it's all relative to how, uh, you know, how the table stands now, but I think... <sighs> The, the run of poor results winless in five in all yeah. competitions is, is not becoming of Leeds especially if they're going to look to avoid the November October you know poor poor yeah. form they cannot afford to have another blip like that if they want in playoff action oh they can't no they can't they couldn't really afford that anyway um, but it's a very Good been tackle. a very very bad month for Leeds and they need to try and finish off on a high because they go into after this a run of four very very difficult games and they need to try and hit some momentum for that. Um, so this again, you know, Hull are struggling. Not going to say it's going to be easy, but it's an opportunity here. It's absolutely an opportunity. You, you they know, need you... to be going. They miss an opportunity against a Millwall side who hadn't won away all season. Yeah, that's. I think that's probably <laughs> one of the the real hurtful things when you think about it. You know, coming back from two nil down, winning three two to lose four three, and it's their first away win of the season. Well, that's essentially, baffling. they lost one and then lost again, didn't they? It's a weird game. Oh, save Felix. Um, so yeah, a weird game. And again, good decision, referee. Good decision. Um, the goalkeeping situation's interesting, obviously, with Lonergan. Yeah, I think I, I think uh, Lonergan didn't want to be part of the team photo uh, when they were in Spain. Yeah, I'll just play on my phone. Yeah, no worries, pal. <laughs> He's uh, playing Angry Birds on his phone. Yeah. I don't know if uh, in this modern day of transfers that basically confirms his off. Yeah, uh, you know, if we can use Instagram and the such for. Oh my word! Um, but I saw uh, Emil, Emil, Emilano Martinez. Emil Heskey? Yes, him. Uh, Emilano Martinez from Arsenal. Currently on loan to Getafe, apparently uh, AS. Of course, big Spanish publication. <sighs> uh, 
reporting that Leeds are close to agreeing a deal with him. So there's your potential replacement, I think, for uh, Lonergan if he does go. Yeah. So interesting. Book what, him. What for? Hang on. Ah. Don't know what for. God's sake. Boo. By the way, let us know, of course, your score predictions for tonight uh, in the comments uh, and the like or tweeters. By the way, uh, Radio Yorkshire's changing everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So we're now going to be coming. Proper sport, you'll have seen proper sport on YouTube or Twitter or wherever. Um, so LS11 is going to continue though, uh, and uh, we'll be, but you make sure you follow at LS11 LUFC on Twitter to keep up the latest with LS11. Half time 1 1 would lead to take that. All right, it's all right, but what look at the stats? No, I'm not bothered, mate. Uh, away from home, yeah, yeah, I think they would. Um, big long ball forward here. I think they would, you know, considering last week's first half. <laughs> think they'll take that definitely uh, but yeah um, realistic I think Hull are going to be up for this as well power of one Lasaga ah yeah, what, what a hit from Lasaga oh that way. third one beauty have you seen the uh, the video from the stands yes someone screams get in the box Lasaga you fat and then uh, <laughs> I know, yeah. and then he just belts it in <laughs> Just beautiful. Put That's that, up there with LUFC dog barking at uh, QPR. Put that on the badge. <laughs> oh, we're not, we're, we'll, we'll come on to the badge, right? In fact, no, we have to talk well, about we'll it. We'll do it. We have to talk about it, but we, we only have a half of FIFA. Um, it was rubbish. Next. <laughs> well, we went and spoke to Angus Kinnear. You were there doing the interview. I'm there on the camera. We're having a chat with him. He seems really positive, and I liked the good intention behind it. That you know they're putting fans first is the idea, and mm-hmm. they're putting the fan pretty much on the shirt. Um, I'm not going to lie; I think the design isn't great, but I liked the idea. And also, in the same article that they were saying they they spoke to ten thousand fans, mm. did they put in that same article that there's ten million fans around the world for Leeds United? Well, we're all Leeds, if so, so, right? Is what does that equate to percentage wise? I don't know, <laughs> but you can just make up stats on anything, can't you? Really, I mean, I'm not saying they're lying, but. Well, you know, we do know a sports programmer claiming that they're now available nationwide to well, like eighty million. Or whatever this is the thing, though. We're, you know, we're on the oh, yes, we're on the internet, so we're so you know, technically we're, we're potentially available to seven point six billion people. Yeah, so LS eleven. Uh, don't look. 6, don't look at the view count below. A potential audience it's of seven point six billion. So you know. Um, but it's terrible. Go. They're obviously opening it now to people to design it. However, oh, there's been some great designs, hasn't there? I'm not going to. We're not going to point out any specific ones. But the terms been some and really conditions good ones. essentially say we can just take it. We don't have to pay you or credit you or anything. I imagine they would, but it's a bit like mm, it seems like a whole waste of money and time. The console, the whole process. Yeah. For it to come out and then even you got teams in Egypt tweeting and it's like, well, who are you? What's this Gavis Gone getting involved. Why is Zenit? Zenit, who have done far worse things on social media. Uh, are tweeting in about a badge it's like whoa hang on what's it got to do with you lads Aston uh, Villa getting in on it with uh, the Pez I thought I was offside you were no I wasn't it yeah, was you for were. the <laughs> oh uh, yeah but I like the Villa thing you know well, that was very very good it was the t- it was the best tweet very of, that, clever. of that day I thought oh, I should have hit that other than uh, Leeds United trying to go- carry on like uh, as normal <laughs> yeah. know, saying here's an interview with Eddie Gray and uh, someone I forget who uh, and then people are like no, no one's going yeah. to ignore this announce, yeah, you can't announce just, rid of the badge you can't just hope it goes away uh, oh. but yeah it's happened they've obviously <laughs> realised the reaction that six hours later Angus Kinnear is coming out and going uh, maybe not yeah, the- oh. oh Ruth this could be a belter you selfish man let him have an amazing goal. No. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Um, Great cross. Oh. The badge, obviously. Like, so if you've not seen our chat with Angus Kinnear, back when happier times of... Le- oh! <laughs> Ronaldo Vieira! Why didn't the keeper move? Because <sighs> he's not stopping it. <sighs> Honestly, I thought that was going wide. Let's, uh, keep, let's look at the replays of that. But check out our chat with Angus Kinnear. Calm down. Um, Angus Kinnear back when he thought the badge was the greatest well, thing in the world ever yeah that we spoke Happier to him at, times. we spoke to him at 9am the announcement was made at 12pm by about half one it was completely obsolete that interview it was, it was done because uh, of the reaction but what a het son what a het honestly I thought I were going wide look at you what's his name McGregor Who's McGregor Alan McGregor he ain't stopping those you know in the words of uh, Neil Redfern you can have free keepers there oh be my saving god every that. time well, they were belters, to be fair. Kill him, Brady. Oh. 
They got command and position in it. Don't cock this up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. More goals. More goals. Oh, I don't. For God's sake, Hull. I, don't, I hope you get relegated now. Oh, that's harsh. That is what, harsh. what have Hull ever done to you? Well, City culture. You'll never sing that. Oh, no. Don't fall over. I'll take oh, that. I should have fallen over. Why did I just give that back? Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Carrot attack. On the overlap, Olejowski. All right, Ola Saga. One he is. There we go. <sighs> but yeah, yeah. Hernandez out on the left as well against Millwall, I thought, was very, very good. Expected Roof to play out there. Hernandez more centrally. Uh, but Hernandez was very, very good there. Well, Roof, Roof centrally has shown that he can cut it. Yeah. Have Leeds done enough business in the transfer window? Not for the first team. I think nope. one or two more. Striker needed nice. still. Um, it's great saying you have a striker, but if they both need to come off after 70 minutes, if you yep. play both of them, then it's useless. You can't start. Oh! Lots of uh, conspiracy theories that maybe this is uh, the badge was released because Leeds' form is so bad. I, I think that is very, very drastic. <laughs> I tell you what, we're not playing that well at the moment and anyone outside of, you know, the championship really hasn't noticed. So let's make ourselves an international embarrassment. I think that's going a bit far on it. Ah, too much, too much. Have I got it? I've not got it. Nah, bloody set. Oh, he's back, given oh, Great challenge, Pennington. Disgrace. Great Get challenge, out. lad. Get out I'm in between this movie, guy. Richard. So Red, thank you. What a disgrace. Well, now we know you it's are a shambles. Now we know, you know it's realistic. Three, we know it's realistic. <laughs> I'm gonna make a sub. It's realistic though, isn't it? Really. Whatever. Let's be honest. You just have to ruin got, it. I don't think I've got any more. It's a perfectly nice, I have to bring on friendly shots. game, and you come in and you do that. Subs. I don't know who to bring on. Uh, you know what? Let's take off Richie Myler. <laughs> Close to enough. It's, it's a sport, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Triple sub time. I don't like how there's lack of numbers here. No, oh, what was that? Well, that worked, didn't it? Pat? What was that? And on the counter as well, imagine. Red card, that ref. That should be sent off. Uh, score prediction for tonight? Uh, 2-1 leads. I think they're getting back to winning ways. I hope they are. Well, like I said, five, five, in, five in all competitions winless. God, you can't, I think it gets Hull looking at them in the table and this season you've got to be hoping they're going to get a win. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's... Uh, Again, well, though, every time we but expect both team, Leeds to win. But both teams need wins, don't they, for various reasons. Um... Hull obviously need points to drag themselves out of the relegation battle, or try to. Um, Leeds need a win to get back towards the top six. So we'll have to wait and see, but intriguing game anyway because of that. Um, oh, terrible. I think I've given it straight back as well. Ah! It's getting scrappy, this. It's getting scrappy and rubbish. <laughs> what was that? Stopping the ball, that's what that was. Ref, come on. Oh, come on! Just let me go through the back of them. Can they, if they get a goal here, it's going to make for a nervous finish. Come on, Felix. Get, yeah, get across your goal, Felix. Oh. Well in. Well in. Time. Time. You piece of work. <laughs> Honest to God. 3-1 up. Yeah. <laughs> I felt bad. I gave you the ball back, all right? I'm so sorry. Great what challenge. What for God's sake? Pass it, you f clown. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say something worse then, weren't you? No. I'm a... Uh, I don't know. I'm a professional-ish broadcaster. It's in my Twitter bio. <laughs> it's just garbage true. It's Jay Roy. Hit him. Lovely. Penalty. Good to see you giving it as well. Oh, it's a f <laughs> Win that. Yes. The streak continues. Yes. It's getting Undertaker at WrestleMania. <laughs> streak, isn't it? Me, me beating you. Can you do the, can you do the, the eyes? No, I'm not going to try it because I'm scared they'll get stuck. Don't know which one we'll be able to see again. 
On that note, very good. All right, so what was your score prediction again? Oh, I can't remember. I just think of the Undertaker. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Uh, I'm going to go to Desmond 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah. I think it'll be a draw. High yeah. scoring. Yeah. Two teams horrendously out of form. Should be a laugh. I'm think, I think it's because the defence is still not maybe too settled just yet. Hull, at home, you'd be hoping they'll be able to score. But again, you know, I'd love to be proven wrong. I'd love it to be a nil-nil affair. I'd love it if we beat them. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thanks very much for watching. Take the lead to win. So. Yeah. So, what LS11 is, is going to continue, Yay. like we say. It's not on uh, Radio Yorkshire anymore. We are proper sport. Follow LS11LUFC on Twitter to keep up with the latest. Like, subscribe, do all that nonsense and have a good day.